I would like, if I can, to move to an area separate, but I think very important uh, when it comes to uh, the medical health of America. A recent Reuters report found that the prices of four of our nation's top ten drugs have increased more than 100 percent since 2011. Six others went up 50 percent. Price for arthritis drug Humira went up 126 percent. Multiple sclerosis drug Copaxone, 118 percent. Asthma drug Advair, 67 percent. The list goes on and on. What makes this so worrisome is not only it limits accessibility in the American people, but it also is objectionable because many of these drugs were developed at the expense of taxpayers, taxpayers funding the National Institutes of Health. These taxpayers have paid to develop drugs that they now cannot afford, while drug companies make record profits. The National Institutes of Health has historically been reluctant to exercise march-in rights. An existing authority that was created by the Bayh-Dole Act that allows the NIH to grant a license for others to use drugs developed with NIH dollars, but which are inaccessible to those in need. I agree that we need to be especially careful in this area of intellectual property protection and that march-in rights have to be used sparingly, if at all. But when we took, take a look at the staggering prices of drugs, the dramatic increases for drugs, many of which have been on market for years before these increases took place, I ask you, have you considered, would you consider, using your statutory authority under the Bayh-Dole Act for march-in rights to protect the consumers of America from abuse by overpricing by pharmaceutical companies? Senator, I share your concern about the way in which uh, individuals who need access to medical treatment uh, may be prevented from readily achieving that on the basis of the costs involved. And certainly as a physician, I would never want to see a circumstance where an effective drug was not available to somebody who needed it and would benefit from it. But I'm not sure that NIH is in a great position here in terms of the levers that need to be pulled uh, to try to do something about what everybody agrees is a difficult situation with drug pricing. The Bayh-Dole Act, which I recently went back and looked at in terms of those march-in rights and what they were intended for, does not appear to have really been designed to be utilized in a fashion where the price is the obstacle. It seems more to be a circumstance where the product was simply not available because it was not being commercialized, and then NIH had the authority to step in and take over. And, of course, it only applies if NIH has some connection to the intellectual property, which is true for many drugs, but certainly not all. We are certainly looking at these situations on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, we have a recent letter from a few senators about something called Xtandi, which we're studying at the moment. And I am not saying in any way that we're not going to take this potential responsibility seriously. But I am concerned that the negatives that may be uh, f flowing forward, if we begin to use March in in a very broad way about drug pricing, uh, may in fact uh, be substantial in terms of a loss of interest then in terms of industry participation in discoveries that NIH has supported. Uh, let me just, uh, because my time is up here, let me just say first, accessibility I think goes beyond physical accessibility. Mm -hmm. If a drug is overpriced, it is not accessible to a consumer. And secondly, I accept your premise that you don't want to abuse this right, but if you cannot find one egregious example where you could apply this, I would be surprised. And applying it even in one case sends at least the message to the pharmaceutical companies across America that patients need to have access to drugs that were developed with taxpayers' expense and the research that went into it. I think doing nothing sends the opposite message, that it's fair game, open season for whatever price increases they wish. Senator Cassidy, and after that will be Senator Mikulski. Senator Cassidy. Uh, 